Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and welcome to the world of Darwinia. A game I know absolutely nothing about except for the name and the fact that it might have something to do with evolution. Um, I'm going into this one totally blind here today, guys. This is a more modern game. Um, I got this on Steam uh, years ago. Uh, on some kind of sale. I just have a, a running watch list of many games from the 1001 book. When they go on sale really cheap, I buy them, and I forget how much I paid for them. Probably a buck or two. Um, but this, uh, let me just say that this is the kind of game... So I'm excited to try this one here today. Good or bad, this is the kind of game that I really like discovering in the 1001 game book. You know, 1001 video games you must play before you die. Of course you gotta have the greatest hits, you know, like Mario, Halo, Street Fighter, Need for Speed, you know, like you need those big franchise titles. But I think one thing that, I, that does tire me out about the book is that it seems to overly rely on those titles occasionally. You know, just because like sometimes they have several sequels, you know, several uh, racing games all on the PS2 and several uh, f third person shooters all on the Xbox. And it's like, I get that some are so influential, you have to include them. But these darling hidden gem indie hits if that is indeed what this is, um, are almost more interesting to me at this point because these are the games that you flip through that 1001 book and you're like, what the hell is this? So good or bad, maybe this is going to be a terrible game. Maybe it will indeed be awesome. We are in some kind of Dyson sphere right now. So there's the star and we are in a human made or artificial uh, platform that is surrounding the star, taking in all of its energies um, and I guess we're going to go to Garden World. So I have no idea how this works, no idea what we're in for. I don't even know if this is going to be good, but I'm excited by the fact that it is new. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? I thought I terminated all external connections. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm trapped in the Matrix. Okay, fine. If you're going to stay, you can at least make yourself useful. I think I'm going to be some kind of like AI god to a bunch of AI creatures. Take some time to get your bearings and help me wipe out the red virus. If you get stuck, press H and I'll give you some tips. Okay, so mouse scroll goes up and down. W, A, S, and D moves. Here's little creatures. I don't seem... They're two-dimensional, it seems. And if you click on them, they, like, run away scared. I think. Not 100% sure. But let's see what we got going on over here. This is a radar dish. Okay, let's press H for help, and we'll get the next bit of a tutorial here. So to create things in Darwinia, you need to bring up the task manager. Hold tab to access the task manager. Ah, here we go. Here you can see a list of available programs. While holding tab, click on any of them to create a new program. Oh, this is cool. It's sort of like a god game, but it's combining the... Um, What's that hacker game we played a long time ago that I really liked where you had to like buy hacking programs on the dark web and then like take missions to like hack senators and stuff like that? Oh shoot, what was the name of that? Might have been called... Oh, Uplink. I think Uplink was the name of it. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's 100% worth checking out. Anyway, let's try and create a new squad here. Um, click inside one of the starting highlighted to create your squad. Okay, we'll create the squad there. Um, oh, I have to like click on the ground. Whoa. Oh my God. That is so cool. Look at that. This isn't even pixel art. I don't know what that is. That is a very cool filter they have on those uh, models there. Um, all right. What do we do now, chief? Left click to move your squad. Right click to fire their lasers. Press space to deselect them. The squad cannot move into water. All right. So, we can move them over here. We fire the laser at... Oh, interesting. Oh, so it's sort of like a bit of an action-y based game at this point. Oh, we have to kill the uh, red arrows. I see. Okay, interesting. So, it I thought maybe it would be sort of like a god game or real-time strategy game, but it is a little more action-y than all that. But that's okay. 
die, evil red lines. Go over here into the action. Oh, yeah. You think you can get me? Oh, nice try. What are these things? Don't know what those things are. All right, let's see what the doc has to say. You select the current object, press space. Okay, I'm no longer selecting them. Now what? To reselect an existing object, hold tab and click on its icon, or you can press the number key to select the tasks. Oh, okay. I like how this tutorial is like optional, you know, like I feel like a lesser game would just push you through all the hints, but this it's like you're getting each hint as you ask for it. So we can press H at any time and we get the next hint. Engineers are used to collect dead uh, spirits and reprogram buildings. Hold tab and build an engineer. All right. Build an engineer. We will build it right over here. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. It's not even human. That is so cool. Okay, engineer. Let's see if you can uh, collect this stuff over here. This is sort of like Tron almost. We're like in the computer. Oh, nice. He's doing engineering stuff. Look at him go. You collect those spirits, buddy. How much do I have to micromanage him? Will he just know what to do? Let's just watch him for a second, see what happens. He's collecting a bunch of sprites. Sort of like the Harvester in uh, Command and Conquer. Like, at what point are you going to go back and uh, deposit all your sweet Tiberium into the refinery? God, that's such a good game. I feel like going back and replaying that, too, actually. Um, okay, the he's idle. To deselect the current object, press space. Okay. Did that. Now what? You see a list of objectives. Hold tab, then scroll down by moving the mouse to the bottom of the screen or pressing down. Okay. Enable trunk port. Collect research items. Both are incomplete. What will this say? What I need you to do here is open up this trunk port for me. Okay. I don't know how to do that. It's got a standard control tower nearby, so you can send in one of your engineers to reprogram it. Got it. I like a simple mission. I appreciate it. Once it's reprogrammed, the location is connected to will become available for us to use. Cool. Okay. And what was the other mission? So we had to reprogram that and collect the research item. I can see some of my research up ahead. I need you to retrieve it for me. Don't just leave your research lying around there, Doc. Get an engineer nearby. He will download the research into my computer system. Hopefully it will be something that we can use again. This is also reminding me a little bit of... What was that Jake Gyllenhaal movie where he's like stuck in a computer living out, you know, replays of the world? Um, oh, it was a good movie. Man, I cannot think of titles of anything today. I think my mind is going, guys. I think I'm officially... I, I talk a big game about getting old all the time, but I think it's like no joke. I think I'm actually old. Source Code. That's the name of the Jake Gyllenhaal movie, by the way. This came to me. Yeah, this is sort of like reminding me of... Giving me a bit of Source Code vibes. Like we're in a computer and we're doing something for like a doctor. Um, all right. You go over here. I like how when you give them uh, a command to move, it says go to. Oh, it went away now, but they had a go to command. That's actually pretty amusing. Um, okay, I'm going to send this guy back over here. His go-to is a, is a programming uh, a keyword in basic, basically. Um, I would kind of like to build another engineer. Maybe I should. So he's got all these spirits. What do you do with them? He's idle. Okay, so I don't know 100% what I'm supposed to be doing with those spirits, so let's just wait and clear out more of this island before we get ahead of ourselves, but we'll need at least one more um, one more engineer to go ahead and capture the research. Oh, nice try. You know, the actual gameplay is a bit like cannon fodder. You guys remember that? It was a game on the Amiga that we played. I think it was Amiga and DOS. I played it back in the day on DOS, personally. Uh, and then I think I might have played it for the channel on Amiga or else DOS. 
Cannon Fodder is a great game. It's a great old boss game. Uh, it's just sort of like this, where you have dudes that run on missions, and they can, like, throw grenades and stuff, and you have to just shoot enemies, and, uh, you know, you have Jops and LJ, and, uh, who are the other characters in the game? They're sort of like several soldiers that you start out with, and they usually die by the time you're done. They get replaced by other soldiers, but I remember Jops. Jewels. That's right. You found some of my research. Create engineers nearby and download it. Okay, so let's create a new engineer. And I'm guessing I can't create it. I can create it here. There we go. All right, engineer. Come over here. Engineer will now be busy themselves downloading that item. You found some of my research. All right, excellent. Oh, if we reprogram these buildings. Maybe let's bring the other engineer over here. Unfortunately, almost all my research was lost a few hours ago when this virus outbreak occurred, so you may run into more research like this later on. Save your research. I got it, Doc. I understand. Man, what is this filter that they are running through? Oh, grenades are required. They're running through these models. Such a wild... It's sort of like... It's like a blurred face, like when people are in camera and they don't want their face to be identified. Um... You found my research into the grenade weapon. This is fantastic. While you're firing lasers with your squad, with your squad tap the left, left mouse button to throw a grenade. So, oh wow, oh god, run, oh I killed one of my guys, stay alive buddy, oh he's glitching out, cause he's hurt, okay, can I build, can I build like another squad and add it? my squad? I cannot. Okay, well, whatever. Um, let's see what the help says. You can only run up to three tasks at once. You can shut down the current task by pressing C, or you can click on its delete icon in the task manager. Interesting. I'm going to keep these guys because they have grenades. But hopefully they stay alive. I don't know what the grenade is necessary for in this first level, because all these, like, little uh, virus snakes that we're killing are very easy to kill. Um. Oh, I understand. We now need to go somewhere over here. And we're going to have to spawn more soldiers. Okay, so we have actually cleared out this entire island. So, kind of, these guys have no more purpose, so let's get rid of them. Program terminated. Meanwhile, guy over here can come capture some buildings for us. Give us a foothold over here. I think. I think he's reprogramming it. Then now we can build a squad. Come around here. Yeah. Cool. This very much is like cannon fodder. Let's see if we can throw a grenade way over there. Yes! Oh, whoops. Kind of bounced off the hill. Here, eat that grenade. Oh, yeah! Woo! It's funny, as soon as I said this game is sort of like cannon fodder, I kind of thought, yeah, we don't have grenades or rockets. And then they gave it to you. I seri I legit wonder. This is a case where I'm like, did the developers of this ever play cannon fodder? Or did they think they had invented something totally new? Um, either way is fine, because, I mean, like, it's not like cannon fodder's formula was, like, so magical and mystical that, like, nobody else ever could have possibly stumbled upon it. But if this is kind of an homage to cannon fodder, then that is actually, like, really interesting to me, because it's like... I just never heard of anyone bothering to, like, uh, you know, make a sequel to Cannon Fodder. And, like, this is stylized so uniquely that... Probably if you hadn't played Cannon Fodder, you just never know that it's related to that game. 
The one thing with cannon fodder is you could you could like leave a group and go somewhere else and they would like fight to defend themselves while you were gone. I don't know if these guys are smart enough to actually do that. But I kind of don't want to like leave them undefended near any enemies. Although well, the enemies seem very docile in this early level. They're like not coming towards you. They're not shooting anything. Now it'll be interesting to see where this goes because in cannon fodder, um... You know, there were... Yeehaw! <laughs> it looks like this is going to have more things you can do than cannon fodder. Um, Alright. Because you can control... You can, like, spawn multiple programs and stuff. And, like, what other programs are you going to be able to build? Like, I'm very curious. But, uh, anyway. Man, we decimated this species of virus. They're all gone. And there's just like little 2D green dudes hanging around. Can we harvest these guys? Let's bring everyone over this way. You may have noticed those viri leaving little red things behind when you kill them. Those are digital DNA. Digital souls, if you'll excuse the term. Oh, man. Okay. Every living creature in Darwinia has its own digital soul. Originally, they were intended for the Darwinians, but the virus has swallowed up most of them by now. Okay. What are we supposed to do about it? Just leave them or not? Work and sort out. We need to get out of this location. What I need is for you to open a door. Oh, God. Back up. All right. I got a standard control tower nearby. Start lobbing grenades, boys. Let's blow this... Blow this hill to kingdom come. It's body rocking time. For Jules and RJ and Jops. And what are some of the other cannon fodder character names? I'm trying to remember. Come over here. Let's do this. Oh god. Oh, they got one of my guys. It was worth it. You died a hero, buddy. I think there's only one guy left. You died a hero, both of you. Both you other guys. Good work, it looks like you've completed the primary objectives. We did it. Press escape to leave this location when you're done. Alright, let's just leave our programs to their death. Off we go. Alright, level two, containment. I'm sorry if I was rude to you on that island. My name is Dr. Sepu Sepulveda. I'm the creator of Darwin Digital Life Project. I would normally be afraid that things have gone a bit wrong today, but we'll have to give the guided tour a miss. It's sort of like Jurassic Park meets cannon fodder. Um, I need you to help me open up some more of the infected locations. The containment location is sort of a hub world. Please go to this location. I'll explain more. When the viral outbreak occurred, I had a lot of trouble getting it under control. I had no choice but to shut down the trunk port of the gate system that connects each location in Darwinia. It was the only place where I was able to hold my ground against the virus. The double shield of this location acts as a fantastic barrier. Highlighted three disabled trunk ports on this island. You'll need to open all of them. Once open, the trunk ports will give access to a number of important locations. But really, this is the important bit. These guys are the Darwinians. I've spent the better part of the last decade nurturing these fellows, and I'm very proud of them indeed. It's like you're their god. Um, if the virus had its way, they'd all be dead already, but I've managed to save a few of them. There have been over 10,000 generations of Darwinians, and the loss in AI research alone will be unthinkable. They're an astonishing act of creation. Each and every Darwinian has his own digital soul, which occupies his body during his life and returns to the central repository after death. They need to help me rebuild their numbers. I'll help you out as you go. For now, start clearing out the viral infections outside the shielded areas. Will do, chief. Let's build a squad somewhere. Right here. And let's uh, build some engineers. Right over there. All right, squad. J-squad. 
Uh, wait, what are we doing? We're going over this way. Somewhere. Right, there's viruses over this way. All right, here we go. Now, there was nothing over here, right? Upgraded squad 2.0. To upgrade the squad program you're using, you can have four members in a squad. I'm going to keep working on the programs you're using for a while, the squads, engineers, etc. A little bit nice for you to do that before I spawned everybody, but... Oh, wait, they just walked into the wall and terminated themselves? Okay, I didn't realize they were stupid. Now we have four. Good enough. I thought they would have basic pathfinding, but I guess they don't. Um, you can try and set priorities or work on improving. Hold tab, then scroll up. Oh, you can tell him what you're most interested in prioritizing. Task manager. Allows you to run more programs. Interesting. Increases their range. Huh. I really don't know what he should be upgrading. What's Darwinian? Equips him with better weapons. That might be kind of cool. Alright. Try to improve their code template. Hmm. Alright. Sure. That's kind of cool. So there's like research and stuff that's going on in the background. Got a a bespeckled scientist coding up new routines so that these dudes do more damage, I guess. Oh, look, there's a new kind of enemy over there. Let's come over here. Lob some grenades. I guess grenade range would be quite handy. Keep doing this. So I guess you don't have lives in this. It's just like if one of your dudes, if you as your squad mates die, they become less effective, and then eventually you just have to like respawn. So it's like not even checkpoints, it's just like, as you screw up, it just takes you longer to beat a level. So I guess time is the thing that uh, you're losing if you die. Very meta. Time is the only resource we all have, truly. The one thing we got, the one thing we waste, and it's the one thing we cherish. Lob some grenades. Yeah, grenade range, actually, would be very valuable. Okay, so hold on. Grenade. Oh, God! That thing got real close to me. I wasn't paying attention. Lob some grenades. Stay back! Do you want to get iced? Lob grenades in every direction. Oh, one of our guys died. Shoot. It's perilous work, this whatever we're doing. Oh, here comes this thing. Oh, I didn't even see that that thing came up. Okay. One virus got up to us. And now we have to go all the way back over here. And start a new squad. Okay, so here, I have an idea. I'm going to spawn multiple squads. Yeah, here we go. I don't know why I'm just doing this with one squad. There we go. Now we're moving out with all the army. Now we're using our heads. <laughs> you know, it's interesting when you make an indie game like this, if you style it right, you don't have to do animations. These guys have no animations. It's like, yeah, but it fits with the universe. 
They're also walking backwards, it seems, but whatever. It's all part of the charm, we will say. All right, you go there. You go there. You go there. I wish you could set these your squad on defense mode so they could like actually defend themselves a little, but maybe that would be too easy. All right, you guys come over here. Don't you dare walk in that electrified field. And you guys come over here. You guys come over here. You have a middle mouse. Click it to zoom the camera. Oh, there you go. Or you can press the Z. Okay. Uh, so you can sort of like zoom in binocular style. All right, J Squad. Give them hell. Whatever they are. You can make the camera move faster by holding down the right trigger while you are moving. Oh my god! Like a centipede or something. Die, creature! Oh, we blew up most of its tail or something. Alright, let's go in for the kill. Oh god. Oh my god, my whole squad got terminated somehow. Okay, well this is why you bring backups. Come up here. We're just running up the hill, firing as we go. Leroy Dragons! Let's dance, you dragon scumbags. Oh, one of my grenades landed. Yeah, more grenade distance would definitely be a good thing. All right, there we go. Grenade those things. Let's keep it going. Oh, killed one of my guys. Oh no! Those grenades didn't go far enough. Oh, I killed one of my own guys with my grenades. Alright. Let's dance. Let's dance! Oh god! Oh no, a grenade! I threw a gr Okay, I terminated myself there on that one. Alright. I feel like I should go back and spawn more guys. I mean, I guess here, let's take a second and do that. So, we want... Squad... There, and a squad there. So... There we go. Alright. I still don't know what the souls are used for. Seems like nothing. Like, my engineer picked up a bunch from the last mission, but we didn't actually use them for anything. I'm still a little fuzzy on what the whole point of collecting souls is. Other than the sheer enjoyment of, uh... Owning souls. All right, so this is a little apropos of nothing, but uh, I don't know why this is on my mind. I'll tell you guys a little tale, though. Years ago, when I worked at Blockbuster Video, um, I do remember there was a movie. So, uh, you know, this is in Toronto, in Canada. So a lot of uh, movies and stuff are bilingual in English and French in Canada. Um, and there was a movie called uh, Love, Honor, and Obey. But if you open up the movie case and you look at the DVD, you saw the English and the French title. And in English, it was Love, Honor, and Obey. And in French, it was Sex, Drugs, and Karaoke. <laughs> and I always thought, like, man, the French are getting the way better movie. Like, what is this? Um, I've never seen it. It's a real movie, Love, Honor, and Obey. I don't even think it's, like, an obscure movie. But... If I'm not, if I'm remembering this correctly, the French version, or at least the French Canadian version, is called "Sex, Drugs, and Karaoke." Love, honor, and obey. I don't know how you go from A to B, but uh, you do. Well, that red guy was trying to sneak up behind us. You're not gonna get my soul for a drink. You have to pay me a lot more than that. 
Right, most of these guys are cleared out. Jesus. Well, they are persistent. There we go. All right, I think we got them all. All right, did we capture this? Where is my dude? Oh, he's way over there. Wait, what? He didn't even bother to move. Okay. We have a long way to go. Um, to read the log of everything I've said, hold the L key. Oh, interesting. Okay, go away. Um, engineers will automatically do anything nearby that needs doing. Just collecting dead spirits. And I don't know why we need to... Oh, you son of a bitch! You stupid engineer. You killed yourself. You really have to micromanage these guys. Okay, that is one thing I'm not super crazy about in this game is the pathfinding being that stupid. That is unbelievable. Um, oh, there's so much to capture over here. I kind of wish I had more. Okay, you know what? You guys can go away. We're building more engineers. And you come over here like this. Should have brought engineers with me from the get-go, but... Those snakes we had to fight were actually pretty formidable. Pretty formidable. Oh, look, there's some over there, too. Oh my god, there's a giant dragon. I think maybe if I send... So this engineer can certainly come over here. Oh wait, stay away from that stupid field. You can certainly come over there. Where's this other one at? Okay, he's crossed the threshold. I wonder if we can just run over and capture that before we die. Then we can start spawning over there, too. Yeah, I should just be dispersing engineers. All So I think the real uh, fun of the game comes about having multiple squads on different islands trying to do things. Like right now, my one squad kind of has nothing left to do on this island. We'll probably get rid of get rid of them real soon. Okay, I'm going to try and send this guy over here. See if they can capture this without dying. If they die, they die. Okay, we do no longer need combat units. We just need more engineers. Okay, now this guy... can come over here. And then this guy over here there we go now we're now we're moving in four dimensions look there's a guy there there's a guy there and that's it still don't know what to do with these little darwinian souls oh they seem to be gone Oh, that's weird. Did my engineer collect them all? That's odd. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the souls of my fallen foes. But they're there. Okay, wait. Can you also come and capture this? Let's see. I wonder if he can do it. Probably going to get killed, but that's okay. Got to clear up some room for the squad. Oh my god, that side of the hill is riddled with virus. So much virus. They do it quickly. Get in there. Oh, he got obliterated. All right. Well. That's why we spawn a squad over here to clear out the scum. Meanwhile, what's going on over here? Let's make sure all these guys are doing something. Um. I guess. Go over here. Both of you. Oh, and then there's like another island way over here too. Which we can probably send one of our guys to. Okay, we're going to send you right over here. This feels like a very slow way of doing this. I don't know. I, I, I must be doing something wrong. 
Unless the level is supposed to be like this slow and methodical. Okay, then go way over there. I'm kind of like unlocking islands ahead of time. It'll make life a lot easier once we get into combat, but... Amount of micromanagement. And then, is there a way to quickly zoom? I, I really wish I could press a button and instantly zoom across the map to the squad or whatever that I'm looking for. But I don't know if I can or not. Alright. Let's have you guys uh, kill these dragons for us and we can get this mission started. Grenades! Oh god. Blow up! Ah! Barely missed that dragon. Oh, we got him. Yeah, you die now. It is so much like cannon fighter, it's crazy, because it's like, when you have four guys, you shoot four bullets at a time, but if you get injured, then you only have three guys, two guys, one guy. We only have one guy. It seems like your shots, you're not only firing one shot, but you're firing it very slowly, because it's like only one guy firing at a time. And you realize just how slow each of them actually shoots. Very, it's very interesting how similar to cannon fodder it is. It's remarkable, one might say. Alright, let's kill these stupid things. How dare you come to my island, my island, and infect it with your red filth. Your virus scum. Oh, look, uh oh, we're, get, we're drawing the attention of a giant dragon. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's like dropping eggs or something. What are those eggs gonna do? Okay, we can technically, I think, capture this little command post here if we want. Let's try and kill all these viruses. Virus eye? Viruses? Nice try, viruses. I don't know how we can shoot this guy, or even if we can. Oh, we blew him up! Sort of. Is he dead dead, or just injured? I don't know. We hurt him, though. That's for sure. No, you can't shoot up, so I, I'm guessing the grenades hurt him. Oh, yeah. Oh, we took- oh my god. I was more afraid of him than, uh, we actually needed to be. I thought he was gonna be very tough. He's actually easier than the roller coaster bad guys. The- this guy here. Roller coaster bad guys. Oh, nice try, trying to come from behind. Come on, grenade him! Oh, we did! Nice try, trying to sneak up on us. It's interesting, the viruses will pretend to be not interested in you, and then right when you're not paying attention, they actually try and sneak up on you from behind. The AI is like sneaker than it seems, man. Sneakier than it seems. Alright, let's head over this way. Kill these things. Right, I'm going to kill off this squad in a second. Mission accomplished, boys! You can suicide now. Okay, now you spawn here, and you come over here. Uh oh one of my engineers died. Crap, it's the one I sent out into nowhere. Wait, how's this one still alive? Run! Ooh, we can come over here and capture this. That's actually probably pretty good. You run all the way over here. As slow as you can. That'd be terrific. You can move any slower, I'd appreciate it. Alright. Good enough. Capture that. 
Now, what's going on over here? Oh, he's he's in the soul collecting business. This little engineer has aspirations of opening a small independent bar. Okay, let me need to capture that. That's all. I mean, it seems like he can just go around. Frankly, do you need to bother killing all these creatures and stuff? Can you just do that? I guess we'll see. But now this guy over here. Can you go over here? Build a squad. I can't build it there. Um, let's see what happens to this guy. Maybe he disappears when he goes in the darkness or... Something killed my guy before when I was going to have him go over there. I've increased the range of the grenade program. Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you. It'll be very convenient when it comes to killing all these stinking viruses. Do, 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 do. All right, good. We have, we've captured beacons all over the place, so we can really spawn wherever we want. But here, let's build an engineer right here. Why not? Um, oh, wait. I don't want a squad. I want an engineer. Spawn there. And he can go get the research. He'll probably be fine. Let's see if the dragon kills him or not. I mean, if the dragon doesn't kill him, why bother disinfecting this island? It's kind of a waste of time. Yeah, he's doing fine. He'll live, probably. We're all good. Um, alright, so which engineer is the most useless to me? This guy captured the thing that needed capturing. Good. Like, this whole side of the island's infected. I'm just gonna pretend that's not there. Next. Um. This island kind of has nothing to it. We're getting the research, so that's good. Oh, we acquired an officer. The handy little program will enable you to promote individual uh, Darwinians to officers and use those officers to order other Darwinians around. Huh. To create an officer, bring up the task manager and click on the officer icon. Okay, let's build an officer over here then. So wait, we gotta figure out which engineer we currently actually don't need. How about, let's see if this guy over here can capture this thing. This is like the uh, Metal Gear Solid sneaky style of doing the mission. Because we could fight our way through all that, but it just looks so exhausting. I'm gonna just gonna try and sneak around. They won't see me. I'll just capture this before they even know I'm there. There we go. Alright, so we can't eat, we can't burn him. This guy over here, I think, can be burned. Yes, he can. Alright. To hell you go. Or to oblivion. Let's build an officer. Oh, we actually get to select these little guys. Oh, interesting. Now move the officer by left clicking. And... Uh... Oh, the other Darwinians will follow him? Is that how it works? Right click. Oh! If you right click, then other Darwinians will, like, listen, and we'll go there. So this guy can boss around. Okay, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but... Move an officer by left clicking, right clicking on the landscape. All right. Hey, you captured it. Great job. Hey, here's an idea. Let's see. Let's see if we can capture this last one out from under this dragon thing without even clearing the island. That would be the true solid snake way to do the level. Pure stealth. And right, here we go, boys. I don't know what this thing is doing. It's pooping out eggs. It moves very slow, so it makes me believe it can't do anything to stop us. Yeah, I think we got it. 
Yeah, the enemies aren't even coming for me. The generator is online. Okay, have we done it? Enable the trunk, rescue 150 Darwinians. Um, so this... So does that mean... Wait, where's that commander or whatever? Where'd he go? Officer. Alright, sir. Come over here, Darwinians. They're like little lemmings. Uh, you move an officer by left-clicking, right-clicking on the landscape. Sets the go-to orders for the Darwinians. Okay. So I told them to go over here. Right into this portal. It acts as a stargate connecting different locations within Darwinia. Okay. Good. Oh, so he has to run around and command them? I don't... Oh, so I have like a go-to area that I'm like, hey, go over there, and I have to walk by and tell everyone. Hmm. Well, this game started out strong, and it's getting like, sadly, more tedious. More tedious as we go. Because, like, I want to go back to shooting and stuff, but, like, I feel like I'm in this very slow part of the game where I'm just sort of chilling. I don't even know if they're going to the right spot, frankly. Like, everything is just slow. Like, moving around is slow. Building things is slow. I don't want the pace to be picked up a bit. And are they going in this portal or not? Mm, not. They're just hanging around. Just hanging around. Okay. Well, now what? You can move an officer by left clicking. Hey, I heard that one before. I heard that one before. Okay, our mission is rescue 150. Wait, I've rescued. What did it say? I'd res I've rescued 23. Oh, they are going in the portal. Son of a bitch, it's working. Okay, where are the other 150, though? Hold on. Seriously, where are these guys? None. Oh, I have an engineer just sitting right there. Eh, he can get killed. Go kill yourself. Um... Generators... Maybe I have to kill the enemies and convert their souls into... Darwinians? Or something? Guys, get in there. Get in there. See if they'll actually do it. I don't think they have to go in the portal. I think just hanging around me counts them as saved. What do you do here? <laughs> Um, all right, well, let's try one more thing. Let's spawn some soldiers over here, I guess, and clear out this island and just see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't, I th think we're done. I mean, we tried. Getting stuck on level two is never a good sign in a game. I mean, I did say, you know, feast or famine, this game could be amazing or it could suck. But either way, I'm just glad it's different. And I actually stand by that. Oh god, that grenade is pretty close. Killed one of my guys. Alright, well that squad's useless. I'm not even going to terminate them. I'm just going to send them to their death. Alright, new squad coming in. Oh look, they will defend themselves. Interesting. Not by much, but they do a little bit. Yeah, blow up the hills. Yeah, this is the fun part of the game. The TD... You know what? The base capturing stuff I find a bit slow. The moving to Darwinian sucks. I don't want any part of that. That just seems like a big waste of time. 
I don't know if I'm playing this game incorrectly and there's like a faster way you could be playing it. But this is the fun part. The part that feels like you're playing cannon fodder is the fun part of the game. Um, I don't need any of the other... Any of the Darwinian stuff. I'm just not interested in that, frankly. Yeah, I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm gonna send in an engineer to clean up all these souls. There's souls all over the canyon. Someone get in there with a mop and glow and clean that shit up. Oh god! Ha, ah, I dropped a bomb on that, where that dragon was gonna land. Alright, let's build our engineer. Our soul engineer. A little soul sucking. Uh. Oh, you can just spawn engineers next to your squad? Well, that changes a lot. Oh, wait, I could have spawned. I could have spawned engineers next to my squad this whole time. <laughs> oh, I accidentally blew up the engineer. Oh, no, wait, no, I didn't. Okay. Stay alive, little engineer. What are you doing? I can't come fast enough to save you. Oh, God. Souls everywhere. Souls everywhere. Oh, that thing is still alive, eh? Okay, let's bring this one up. Or a grenade. This guy's going out like a boss. Alright, more squads. Let's spawn a squad over here. Route the enemy. Yeah, man, there's just- there's just a smattering of souls all over this, uh... ...valley here. Who knew the soul trade was so messy? That little AI program soul tra soul trade. Alright, we got... Oh no, wait, we don't want that. We want an engineer. Fuck. How do I cancel... ...building an engineer? Cancel! Oh, that's so annoying. Once you- uh, once you selected... It's like you have to... There, you've been promoted. Welcome to the club. Now... Actually want to build an engineer. Alright, let's see what this engineer does. Is it like a Tiberium Harvester? Will it collect up a bunch of souls and then go refine them into a smooth paste that they can sell on international markets? Oh, my soldier's guard. Alright, now where are you going? I want to see this in action. So he goes over here. Maybe this is how that one engineer I made died, because I left him alone and he just sort of killed himself. I still don't understand what happened. Oh, he just deposited them! Wait, what is this? An incubator. You can use engineers to carry spirits here, which will then be reborn into Darwinians. Oh, So it is possible... ...to resurrect the dead. Alright. Well... Get all these souls while we can. These guys are unneeded now. There's like souls floating in the sky. How are you supposed to get those ones? Like, look at that. Are the, are the engineers capable of getting all of those? They're like floating away. Oh, maybe if you don't collect them fast enough, they float up to evil heaven or something? I don't know what's happening in this game. Hey. Don't get these souls, man. Don't just leave a bunch of souls lying around. Not what I'm paying you for. Uh, actually, I'm gonna clear that guy away. Um, okay, now where are the Darwinians born, actually? What does this say? I've only rescued 17 of 150? Okay, this is not happening. <laughs> I've even been depositing their the little souls of my defeated enemies. Into- 17! Oh, look, there's little dudes here. Do you, uh, officer? Promote them. And then tell them all to go over there. 
Are they killing themselves or are they actually doing it? I don't know. Well, anyway, this has been Darwinia. I know we're on, like, level two, but, like, there's no way I'm saving. 150! Are you crazy? And look how slow they move and their pathfinding sucks. No. No. No, I'm just not doing that. Um, this game is like a 3D modern version of Cannon Fodder. Um, Cannon Fodder is a classic DOS and Amiga game if you have not played it. Um, if so, I highly recommend it. Um, this game I would have recommended, and I'm not like 100% opposed to it. I, I still believe maybe I'm playing it a little incorrectly. Maybe there's something I could do to make this game go a little faster. But it seems remarkably slow and tedious at times. The thing I like about it is when you control your little squads, and it basically is like cannon fodder, although there the combat feels a little basic, but I would not be surprised if in the later levels you got more interesting enemies and, and levels and stuff that you were going against. But frankly, the stuff with the engineers and the Darwinians, it's semi-interesting, but also a little tedious and boring. Like... I, I never, w back in the day when I was playing cannon fodder, never thought, hmm, I wish there were lemmings on the field that I could capture, you know? Like, like, like what's everybody's least favorite uh, form of mission in any video game? It's the escort missions, right? Those are the least favorite. They've added escort missions to cannon fodder, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I feel like I would probably just recommend cannon fodder if you wanted to play a cannon fodder-like game. As interesting as I think this concept is. Now that said, as I started off today's video, I said I was excited to play this because it was different. I stand by that, guys. I stand by this, uh, this statement. Uh, yes. Is this game perfect? No. Is it, you know, does it, is it interesting though? And is it novel and is it different? I think yes. And so I had fun checking it out, trying something new, seeing what it was all about. It doesn't happen to be for me, but hey, maybe... Maybe you like escort missions, and maybe you have been wishing for a modern, um, sort of more tactical take on uh, cannon fodder. If so, maybe you might want to check this game out. Um, I think for me, I'm happy I tried it, but I probably would go back to cannon fodder, but yeah. What do you guys think of Darwinia? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Is this game awesome? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, whatever you think of the game, hopefully you enjoyed checking it out here with me today. Hopefully the cool computerized aesthetics which i do like and all the other cool things in the game were pleasing to you as well as watching my own pain and suffering and confusion if you did have fun over to like the video and all that stuff and other than that i will catch you in the next one so until then guys i'm gonna be trying to use a war portal and going nowhere but you all take care of yourselves and we will see you soon peace